Hi, I haven't posted anything in a couple days uh, because there was not much to say. But I heard today um, that the board of directors of the New York City Ballet may be closing in on uh, choosing a director. And from what I've heard, it's a woman, which is perfectly understandable given everything that's going on today. Um, she's a wonderful, um, really quite uh, beautiful, ex-ballerina of the company who would be in many ways and in uh, it's hard to know but in many ways a very good choice um, my concern is and has always been and will continue to be uh, what this does uh, the future uh, to the future of the balancing repertory and the aesthetic and how the New York City Ballet is going to continue as uh, the primary repository of the Balanchine repertory, which I feel is, you know, sacrosanct and um, equal to the works of Michelangelo and Picasso and Stravinsky and Ch I mean, in the dance world, Balanchine is equal to any of the greatest artists of any century, in my opinion. So, uh, am I disappointed that I am not uh, going to be the director? I mean, I'm not sure, but I don't think I will be. Uh, of course I am. Um, but I'm much more concerned about the loss. <sighs> Ballet is such a delicate art, and um, the con continuation of repertory and style, technique, etc., etc., is uh, always um, pretty much impossible. I mean, we were lucky with Balanchine because of videos. Um, those of us that are still alive that worked with him uh, on a close relationship. I was hoping that this um, direct lineage could continue in, in a better way um, if the board of directors decides to choose this woman, who I said is a, was a wonderful ballerina, I have nothing against her, I think she's fantastic, um, that's fine, but she didn't join the company until Balanchine was dead. She never worked with them. Her only, almost all of theirs, only um, exposure to Balanchine, Balanchine was very secondhand. Um, third hand, fourth hand. Over the last 35 years I've seen so much loss, degradation to his aesthetic, you know, all the way to lighting, but costumes, steps, placement of dancers on the stage, certainly musicality, certainly style, and I am backed up by this, I'm you know, pleased to say, by uh, dancers like Patricia McBride and Edward Villela that were, um, even before me, that worked for Balanchine and they have been now rehearsing with the New York City Ballet and the dancers of the current company themselves have said that learning these ballets from them are almost like learning new ballets. So I think that says a lot. I think that's kind of, kind of makes my case. Um, I wish if the if the board does choose this woman, and again I have nothing. I think she's great. She was a great dancer. Um, then that's uh, their choice, but it'll be a continued loss that's not necessary, not yet. There's a big gala going on at City Center now with, with a bunch of companies, you know, big ones, small ones, etc., doing Balanchine ballets. And already, from what I've been reading, there's a lot of criticism. There's a lot of different opinions, which is inevitable, you know. It's art. Everybody's going to have their favorites. They're going to have their preferred dancers, their preferred companies. That's fine. That's part of the fun. But um, from what I've gathered, some of the wholesale slaughter, it's a strong word, but 
the slaughter of some of the Balanchine choreography by companies and dancers that don't know any better. It's not their fault, they just don't know any better. Uh, really concerns me, and New York City Ballet should be the company in the entire world, the one company that can uphold the standard and at least get it right. So, I don't know if a decision's been made, but, but my sources have told me that it, it's leaning this way. And that uh, this uh, woman, uh, you know, you say girl in the ballet world, it doesn't mean anything diminishing, it's just it's a term, it doesn't mean anything less. But this woman, uh, who was again a wonderful ballerina, and I have, I mean, she was one of my favorites. If she becomes director, being that she never worked with Balanchine, she does not know lighting plots, she doesn't know Balanchine's taste, she doesn't know what he wanted in the area of decor and costumes, she can only go on what she's been told, but she was not told by Balanchine. Um, means inevitably there will be a further diminishing degradation of this repertory. I don't see how it could be anything other than that. Balanchine's ballets are great. The construction is solid. They will survive in one way or another, but they will, will not be, they won't be what they were, and they certainly won't be what he wanted. Sorry to be such a downer, everybody, but I hate to see it all. Gone. And it will be. Not overstating the case. Thank God there's some videos left. That's I guess I guess that's all I can say. Signing off, sadly. Good night. The end.